Good morning all. Today we will be dealing with the final part of scope of human resource management. We know that human resource management deals with A to Z things that we see in an organization. So as we have seen in an every organization the first stage is related with identifying what needs to be done. It is uh, nothing but the planning. So we have seen that the human resource management starts from job specification or job analysis. Then after job analysis is being done you need some people the recruitment process has to be initiated right. The recruitment process happens once the recruitment you bring in the various people into your organization organization you select a certain persons and you place them in appropriate positions so these all these things happen in a sequence right so once they are placed in an organization what has to be ensured is that they need to get familiarized with your uh, organization so you provide them induction program you provide them orientation program then after a certain time you need to evaluate them whether you need to understand whether they contribute your, to your organization or whether they create uh, loss as such. So what you perform here is uh, nothing but evaluate your employees in an organization. And uh, there may be many cases when our employees may not be up to the par or up to our grade. So what you people do is as an employer, you people provide adequate training programs, further training programs, further development programs, further refresher programs for your employees employees in order to enhance these employees their performance assets. So training programs are, are important. So we will be seeing with the different training programs being carried out in an organization in the later videos. So once uh, apart from the training programs one thing that we have to ensure as a part of human resource management is nothing but to maintain equality in the organization. You may belong to different religion, you may belong to different caste, community or even to different gender. So no such discriminations should be happen in an organization with regard to gender, sex or, or any such uh, demarcation. So uh, the next uh, scope of human resource management was to ensure the equality in an organization. So today we will be dealing with a few more things related with the uh, scope of uh, human resource management. It is uh, It includes industrial relations. So the word itself, the picture here depicts that industrial relations is nothing but the relationship between employer and employees and the various employees as such, right? So it is a relationship between the management of organization and its workforce. It, it, uh, what is the importance of maintaining industrial relations is that the people working in an organization may feel that this organization belongs to us. So they will take all possible steps so that the possible uh, so that your organization does not uh, incur any loss right if you belong to if you feel that you if you feel that you belong to this college belongs to me or this institution belongs to me you will never write anything on the walls of the institution this is the secret that you do not write anything on the walls of your home but rather you uh, you write something on the walls of your building the, this is because you do not feel that it is ours so a good industrial relationship uh, ship uh, maintains a cordial atmosphere in an organization which automatically enhances the spirit of working in, in an organization. So it can avoid stoppages, uh, gharavos, strike, lockdowns, all this happens in an organization if the atmosphere is not pleasant. So, uh, so you can avoid dispute redressal mechanism and all such things in an organization once a cordial industrial relationship is maintained as part of uh, the human resource development programs uh, carried out in the organization. The next thing that we have to identify here is healthy and safety should be ensured. So I have uh, depicted many pictures uh, related to uh, the situations that can happen in an organization. There may uh, be accidents, there may be uh, many happenings because of unsafe working, working atmosphere. So this should be avoided. A good HR team, its ultimate aim is to ensure safety to the uh, workers in an organization. They might uh, require proper ventilation. They might require proper proper uh, lighting in the organization. Uh, they should have uh, certain restrooms. 
See, uh, they should not be over exploited, uh, over exploited. Adequate safety measures should be taken in an organization. So all these things are incurred in uh, as part of human resource management programs, uh, human resource uh, management and development. So under this point, I have bring that health means absence of illness and a state of well-being. Safe and secure work environment will be uh, is required for every organization. It can reduce the accidents. It can reduce the health problems. It can reduce the absenteeism in an organization, which automatically results in improved productivity in an organization. So health and safety increases the scope of human resource management or a good human resource management system should ensure proper health and safety standards in our organization. So dealing with the next is controlling human resources. So you might think that there are different people in an every organization. See, uh, there may be different uh, students in this organization or this classroom and uh, they, you belong to different families. So your behavior or pattern of behavior is different. But certain things make uh, you under control, right? Because I have asked you to come. I have asked you to uh, uh, write your note, your attendance. I have asked you to prepare your teacher lecture notes. So all these things things uh, helps to control you as a human resource see similarly in an organization what are the various techniques that we are being adopted to control human resources are nothing but the promotion demotion and transfer so you will be dealing with all these things in the previous in the next few slides as such so promotion you will be dealing with in detail demotion also and transfer also so but i will be highlighting just what it is promotion is just moving to an upward position so in case you do a better job in case you work a uh, hundred person in case in case you perform well you will be promoted to a superior post so this is promotion so it is a way to control human resource because uh, it will be an energy it will be a push towards uh, moving forward right in similarly demotion is moving uh, in a downward direction so it uh, deep promotion as you have you might say right so if you uh, make a loss in an organization if you underperform if you create problems in an organization you are bound to be uh, uh, brought to a downward position so this is demotion so the fear of demotion automatically helps uh, helps to perform or it helps to control the human resources in an organization transfer is also another technique to control human resources because many people uh, might have the fear that if they do not uh, fare well up to our standard up to the standard set what might happen to them is that they will be moved to uh, to the same position but in an unfavorable location this is transfer movement in a parallel in in the same uh, same direction not in the upward not in the direction uh, downward but to another position but to the same level but to another place which might be unsatisfactory or it might be unfavorable for us so fear of transfer also helps us to perform well in an organization so these are the various techniques being adopted by the human resource team uh, in order to control the human resources in an or the employees in an organization the, so i repeat the various techniques in, include our promotion demotion and transfer so uh, with this we wind up the scope of human resource management the scope of human resource management so uh, in short deals with all things right from uh, taking an uh, employee into an organization dealing with with his compensation with his remuneration with his performance with the ways to control his performance so all these things enhances the scope of human resource management thank you